But at the very least, if we cannot put more money into promoting tourism, let's make our state, our lakes, and our waterways a little more business, tourist, and visitor friendly. A little courtesy and hospitality goes a very long way. With that said, Mr. Chairman and committee members, Senate Bill 66, along with the Senate Committee Substitute, it is legislation that will hopefully assist our marinas, our lakes, our waterways, and our tourism industries with what I don't know how else to phrase it other than harassment that many boaters and tourists, and yes, even some marina owners, have experienced at the hands of some overzealous law enforcement officers. With an industry as large as boating tourism is in Kentucky, we cannot simply sit idly by and allow this harassment to run our visitors out of state and onto other waterways that welcome them with open arms. And Mr. Chairman, before getting in to the legislation itself, I really believe that it's imperative to share with you just some brief examples of what type of harassment some of our tourists and boaters have experienced. Wrapped up this year, this picture was taken at 2.30 in the afternoon by my wife, witnessed by hundreds of people. This is a husband, a wife, and their two daughters on a pontoon nonetheless. Hundreds of witnesses saw this pontoon pulled over. I've been boating my entire life. I visually saw this occur. The boater was doing no wrong. Pulled over and administered at least 30 to 45 minutes of various tests, only to obviously nothing was wrong to be let go. But what was most disturbing, and I have a great photo of it here, is a little girl, possibly five years old, hugging her mother's neck and all of us could hear her crying out loud, Mommy, please do not let them take Daddy to jail. What an experience for that family of four on Lake Cumberland at 2.30 in the afternoon of one of our biggest events of the year.